What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today, another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today, we're gonna to be taking a look at a couple of options inside of the Samsung gallery that got hidden or kind of changed positions in One UI 6.1. A couple of people have been asking me where these are. There's also one new feature that Samsung buried in the same place inside the gallery. So I'll show you guys how to enable all that. Before we get started, I do wanna thank my son, Jonathan, my three-year-old son, for giving us some dinos to hang out in the video today. We have the Spinosaurus, and we also have back here, the very large and very lovely Carnotaurs. So we always appreciate him for giving some dinos for the video. Also want to remind you guys, if you want to save some money on your wireless service, you can do so by switching to my friends and partners over at Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile has premium wireless starting at just $15 a month. And right now, one of their best deals of the year. It's a limited time deal. You can get any of their plans for $15 a month, which means you can get the 5 gig plan, 15 gig, 20 gig, and the aforementioned unlimited plan for just $15 a month. Now that's 50% off the usual unlimited price. Normally it's $30 a month. You can get it for $15 a month right now. All their plans come with limited talk and text, nationwide coverage, mobile hotspot included as well. You can get either an eSIM or a physical SIM, which is great if you want to get the SIM right now. You don't want to wait for it to come into the mail. You have something like the S24 Ultra that supports eSIM. I've been using it in the Phoenix, Arizona area as well as my family for about the last 18 months now. We love the service. We've switched all of our lines from the bigger carriers over to Mint. Uh, fantastic service. I think you guys will love it. If you want to try out this new promotion, get 50% off that unlimited plan, try mintmobile.com slash Springer to sign up. It's also in the pinned comment and description. Uh, I think you guys will really enjoy it. And this is a limited time deal. So check it out today. We do appreciate Mint for being partners on the channel. So let's go ahead and talk about these gallery features. The first one is remaster, which is a feature inside the gallery that would basically let the AI kind of remaster the photo in the best, most optimal way possible. Now that's somewhat gotten changed because there's now the new AI button. So I'll show you anyway, go in here, there's a couple of photos I took. And uh, the reason I took a black and white photo is because I'm also gonna show you a new feature called Colorize that lets you take any black and white photo, not one that you necessarily took of course yourself, but one that you find online or something like that or someone sent you and colorize that photo. So you'll notice that here we don't see the remaster option. If you go down here, you don't see it. If you go into settings, you now have this Galaxy AI button here if you tap on the Galaxy AI button, this is just gonna give you the option here to tap around anything you want to delete. Or if you press up here, you can add another photo from the gallery. You can also do some things with, you know, kind of, if you change this, is gonna rotate the photo, allow you to do a little bit of cropping. However, if you're not interested in doing that and you actually wanna get the remaster feature that we used to have, what you can do to get the remaster feature is you need to go back to the photo and then swipe up from the bottom there and then once you do, you'll see right here, you have the remaster option. So the remaster option comes up here. It actually does have the Galaxy AI symbol as well, but it's no longer you know, built in or inside that little edit button that we used to have before. So if you hit remaster, this will do the same thing as before. You see the little AI symbol that they have. It does the remastering work, does some magic, and then it gives you the before and after shot. So you can see here, it does a pretty good job. You can see it actually adds a little bit of brightness here doesn't really kill you know, any of the shadows too bad either though. Um, and overall, the actual photo you with the remaster, in my opinion, looks a little bit better than the original. So of course, as usual, you have the option to shave, to, sh uh, to shave, to save, to share. I put a combination of share and save together and then save as copy. I always recommend saving as a copy because then you have your original as well. Uh, that way you don't lose your original photos. So that's where remaster is at inside of the gallery. And of course, you've got all those other great options with Galaxy AI as well, where you can kind of replace things or fill things and all that kind of stuff. And I'm gonna be talking about that more in another video because I've been diving into some of those and playing with them a little more in depth. Now, the other feature, if you have a black and white photo, I took this same photo of my mini Android figurines just to demonstrate this. Obviously, in real life, you would really be using this feature if you found a black and white photo online or someone shared it with you. And if you swipe up, now not only do you get the option for remaster, but you have this new option in One UI 6.1 called Colorize. Now, I don't know if this is on all of the phones. It is on the S24 Ultra and my Fold 5, which is an unlocked US model, but I don't know if it's on all of the phones, so just keep that in mind. So if you tap on Colorize, this is gonna give you the little Galaxy AI thing. It says adding color, and then you'll see right here, you've got a Colorize version of it. Now, some people have mentioned and I will say, I think you can tell from this photo, it could do a much better job with the coloration. Um, it's obviously using limited information to find the colors. 
it's not using the original color info that it obviously took because I took this with my phone in black and white. This is basically what you would get if you didn't already have that color information. So once again, you can save as a copy, etc. So if you save as a copy, you can see how not great the coloration is. Here's the original photo I took. Again, I took them from the same position and there's the colorized version. So the original in color, the black and white, the colorized. It gets some of the colors correct, the orange, Obviously, it gets the general color scheme, the intensity of the colors correct, um, but not the exact hues. And of course, the brightness and a lot of other things get messed up in the process. But it is a cool feature. It is a new feature. And a lot of people had also been asking me about the remaster feature as well, and where it was hiding. And so that's where you can find it. Anyway, I have a lot more coming. I want to do some comparisons of the new Galaxy AI feature and compare that to Object Eraser and some of the other things, because some of these features are still kind of compartmentalize and some of them are in separate places uh, aside from just the Galaxy AI button and it seems like they're using different algorithms. I've been playing with them lately. I don't know if any of you have noticed this but uh, they don't all seem to use the same algorithm even though they're doing similar things. So subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great Samsung videos, updates, tips and tricks, etc. Again, check out my partners at Mint Mobile if you want to save some money on your wireless service. Go to trymintmobile.com slash springer to sign up. Get 50% off that unlimited plan. Just $15 a month is a great deal limited time offer, so take advantage of it soon. Appreciate you guys checking out this video, and of course, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.